Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to AVP Plays. So, today I have a special video, as today we are going to be doing an unboxing. And that is the Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I have waited so long to say that. Now, obviously, by unboxing, it's not going to be anything major, because it's not the fun edition or the shiny edition. It's just the standard edition. I just wanted to unbox this, uh, because it's, you know, it's, re it's Battle for Bikini Bottom. I have to. Like from every every game from that one that I get that's brand new, if it's new, if it's old or not, I'm probably like if it's you know um, a new release or if it's you know a game I'm gonna play on the channel or something, I'll I'll just open it on the camera. Like I'm definitely gonna play this 100%. I'm not playing this until I can record it, which I have a new capture card. Thank you, uh, Would Assist, for your ever so much, ever so much for your ever so kindness on that. Um, I'm just gonna take off the the, the wrapper. We can all agree that there's no better smell than the smell of a freshly opened game. Oh, it smells so nice. Alright. <sighs> Money well spent. So the game came out today, uh, June 23rd. I don't know if this video will go up on the 23rd. It more, more than likely will. Uh, but before we get into this, I want to say special thanks to everyone that came out with me today to grab this game. That includes two of my friends and my wonderful, wonderful girlfriend. She's amazing, to say that frankly. Um, but yes... Uh, Let's get in with it. I want to see what the disc looks like. Oh, okay, so it's just the promotional art. That's fine. Um, yeah, cool. I didn't. I expected something different. I expected like a big SpongeBob face, not the, uh, you know, not not just the cover art. But hey, that's fine. Uh, no manual in it or anything like that. That's cool. Fine enough for me. Um, so yeah, that's the bikini bottom. Um, so whilst we're here and we're opening new stuff. I may as well just uh, scoot back over here to my uh, game shelf and grab some of my new purchases today and just have a look at them with you guys. Um, so if I just move the fan out of the way and I take a deek, uh, we got this, we got this, um, shimmy that, shimmy that, take that, thank you. Then if I come on top of the wardrobe where I have my shrine of FF7. Um, I'm going to leave the coasters there. Like, I have coasters on my wardrobe now that I was given by um, the ever so wonderful, wonderful girlfriend. You can see them in the PlayStation Magazine FF7 ones. The other ones are on the other side. Uh, it's a bit difficult to maneuver a webcam like this. So I'm just going to put that back on the uh, stand before I break everything. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah. She also gave me the PlayStation Magazine stickers, which I very much appreciate. Right. Let's just twist that. Oh dear, the stands fell. Great. That's fantastic. Doing good. Right, that'll do. Okay, so first of all, uh, we have Kingdom Hearts 1.5 on the PS3. You might be wondering, why do I have this considering I already have the game collection on the PlayStation 4? I just wanted to get it. I've, I've never owned this um, on PS3. I have played it on the PS3 because I was lent it, but I haven't owned it. Um, so yeah, that's cool, that's cool, uh, include some of my favourite games, well, what I mean by that is, it includes Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, um, I need to try, it. there's a sticker on the back of it that the person who owned it before didn't pick it up, but it's fine, um, so obviously you've got the inside, you know, you've got your disc and your manual, but strangely enough they give me two manuals, and two registration codes for the Square Enix website, so that was a goof on their part, next up we have Final Fantasy 13. There we go. Uh, which again, big goof. They gave me two manuals and two membership cards. Um, but in terms of the disc quality, the disc quality is all fine. Everything's looking, you know, nice. Everything's all nice and dandy. And then for the final one, we have FF7 on the PC. Now, am I going to be able to play this? No, because I don't have a disc tray. Uh, but again, I saw it and I just had to buy it. FF7 is my favourite game of all time, I have a shrine on top of there for it, and I just want to collect almost any version of the game ever released, so that includes International, Japan, America, uh, Special Editions of Crisis Core and things like that. So I think that would be quite cool if I eventually get some of them, so obviously you've got you know the back of it. And surprisingly enough for me, the condition of the case is really good, because where I buy this, where I bought this game from, like they're never this good. And if I open it up on the inside, oh the manuals just fell out. You have two discs, of course, on, in the first page with the manual, which my PS1 copy does not have. Um, if anyone can find me a manual, I'd appreciate it if you can link it in the description. And then obviously the other two discs being disc 3 and the English uh, installation disc. 
Now, here's the thing with these three games here. I haven't looked at the disc quality on, like, the, on the surface. So I'll start with Final Fantasy 7 and I'll work up to 13. So let's take a look at disc 1. Are you in good quality, my friend? There's not a scratch on it. <laughs> I'm not joking. There isn't a single scratch on this thing. Absolute perfect condition. That's ridiculous. That's insane. Okay. Moving on to disc 2. Again, it's in perfect condition. God, am I whoever traded this in, like, are you dumb? You could have sold this on the online for more money. They would have given you nothing for this, considering its condition. And again, mint condition disc. Lovely. And then, disc four, also mint condition. Holy shit! So the entire thing is complete. Including the manual in mint condition. That's insane. Damn, dude. Did not expect that. I expected to open this and it would be in a pretty shitty condition. But nope. Okay. That's insane. That is actually insane. Holy shit. Okay. So let's just uh, close this up. Put you there. Careful okay, not to send what we can. Check out Kingdom Hearts. I keep looking there because I think my webcam is there. But now it's there and now it's there. So yeah, don't mind me. Uh, Alright, so let's look at the disc quality. First and foremost. Uh... It's a little bit tacky. There's like paint splotches on it. But the, I think the paint splotch. See, this is the thing with second-hand game stores like this. You don't get given the disc, so the quality of the disc is entirely look-based. I got look really lucky with this. Really lucky. Uh, but this, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera. But there's like paint blotches on it. Uh, no, you can't really see it. But but you trust me on that one. There's a few paint blotches. Um, in terms of the excessive manuals and registration cards for the Square Enix website, they're fine, uh, and the manual is also in great condition. What about the second manual? Why is there two manuals? Are you supposed to be given two manuals? This one feels heavier than the other, actually, now that I'm thinking of it. like This one feels way thicker. I'm not sure why that is, that's very strange, but oh well. Mm. Put that there. FF13, this case is really heavy. Alright, let's check the disc on the ship. Oh, the front of it's got, I didn't see that, the front of it's got a bit of dirt on it. It's not mould, it just looks like crumbs. Yeah. Luckily that's not the side of the disc that needs to be red. I'll be able to scratch that off. Uh, and in terms of the back, uh, it's got a few fingerprints on it. Just a, just a few. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the PS3 games I didn't get so lucky with. PS3 games, no matter where you buy them, they're always in shitty condition. Again, you can't really see that. Um, but in terms of what we were given in the case, I mean... The registration card is in good condition. So is this one. As expected. It's just a registration card. No one plays with them. Uh, showed you characters. Yep, gameplay. Square Enix products. The complete official guide. Who remembers when game guides were a thing? Fucking hell, I missed them. Really missed them. Uh, this one. Again, this one feels a lot lighter. Like, do they cut something out of this? I don't know, that's strange. Um, slot that in, make it even heavier, and then put these in as well. Which is cool. And then obviously we had Battle for Bikini Bottom, brand new in its seal. Very helpful members at the game, by the way. Yeah, perfect condition. Like everyone, 
um, I see, like, I looked this morning on Game's official Facebook page, uh, you know, just to, like, see, um, like, just to see how people are managing with COVID and how Game are handling it. And a lot of people were complaining, saying that the staff was unhelpful, you know, they were doing this, they were doing that, blah, blah, blah. But for me, there was just one staff member at the door, I, and, they, and they asked me, is there anything that you, that you need? Or should I say, is, do you know what you want? Um, and I said yes, SpongeBob, and they just let me in. They say go to the till, ask them at the till, and they get it for you. And they did. It was that. It was that simple. Um, but then people have been saying, I mean, yes, you can't browse. That's just obvious because of COVID. But saying that, the shop where I got this from, and that, and that, yeah, you, you could browse in there, which was strange. But that's probably because they're not a big company that need, you know, they haven't got a reputation on the line or anything like that. Um, uh, but yeah, that's. That's just that, really. Um, I can understand why they're saying this. Uh, and just, like, for anyone that was thinking of going game shopping, don't kick off when they tell you you can't browse the shop if they tell you that. Because you can't browse, you know. Even if you've got face mask gloves and you've brought sanitizer, which I did. But sanitizer, I didn't bring face mask and gloves. Uh, but yeah, you can't just flick through all of it because you can't just go touching every game on the shelf that you see. Because you could have, a, you could have the, the disease. Like that's that's just that's the point of why they're not letting you browse uh, at the moment. But again, I'm sure you could understand that if you've got some common sense. But if you're an angry shopper and you just like being angry, then you do you. But anyways, uh, final thoughts on the pickup today. Uh, I was very surprised to see this for the the price it was for the condition it is. FF13 and uh, 1.5. It's pretty standard. But for bikini bottom, can't wait to pop it in and play it. That's it's that simple. So thank you all for watching. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking up Battle for Bikini Bottom anytime soon. And I'll talk to you all in the next one of mine. Take care and peace out.